Hi everyone, welcome to this GCSE Higher Revision video. The 61 days to go to your GCSE Maths exam, and today we're going to focus on the topic of the equation of a circle. So if you've got a circle, and the circle has the center, the origin, so that's the point zero, zero, and the radius of that circle is r, the equation of that circle will be x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So it's an important equation to know, particularly whenever you're studying for GCSE Higher. And in this video, I'm going to go through that equation, and then going to go through how to do some typical questions, and also there'll be some questions for you to try. So feel free to pause the video and to give those questions a shot. So let's get started. Hi, today we're going to be looking at the equation of a circle. And here's part of the Corp Maths revision card. And the equation of a circle at GCSE level is x squared plus y squared equals r squared, where the center of the circle is the origin, 0, 0, and the radius of the circle is r. So here we've got a circle. Its center is the origin, and its radius is 4. So its equation would be x squared plus y squared equals 16, because 4 squared is 16, and that's the equation of a circle. This is important to know, so if you've got window pens, write this on your window. If you've got the Corp Maths revision card, keep this one handy so you can quiz yourself on it and so on. But it's very important to know the equation of a circle is x squared plus y squared equals r squared, where the r is the radius and the center of the circle is the origin. Okay, let's have a look at a question. So here we've got the equation of a circle, c, with center o, the origin, is x squared plus y squared equals 25. Okay, so feel free to press pause and to answer these two questions now. And we've been asked to find the radius of the circle, c. Remember the equation of circles x squared plus y squared equals the radius squared. That means the radius squared is equal to 25. So if we square root 25, we can find the radius of the circle. So the square root of 25 is equal to 5. So that means the radius of this circle is 5. And then our next part is to show that the point minus 4, 3 lies on C, lies on this circle. So if we want to show this point lies on the circle, what we just need to do is substitute this point, or these coordinates, into the equation. I remember it comes in the form x, y along the corridor up the stairs, so x is equal to negative 4, and y is equal to 3. So let's substitute those values into the equation of the circle. So x squared, so that's going to be negative 4 squared, and then plus y squared, that's going to be plus 3 squared, and hopefully that's going to be equal to 25. And if we get 25 equals 25, then this point does lie on the circle C. So negative 4 squared, well that's negative 4 times a negative 4, and a negative times a negative is a positive, so negative 4 squared is 16, plus 3 squared is 9, and that should hopefully equal 25. And 16 plus 9 is equal to 25, so 25 equals 25. So that point does lie on C, so let's write that down. And that's it. So in this question, we're asked to find the radius of the circle. So because we had x squared plus y squared equals 25, we square root of 25 to find the radius of the circle is 5. And we wanted to show this point lies on C, so we just substituted the points into the equation, and we got that it did. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at another question. Okay, this time we've been given x squared plus y squared equals 9, and we've been asked to draw it. So we need to draw x squared plus y squared equals 9. Okay, so feel free to pause the video now and to draw the circle x squared plus y squared equals 9. So as you can see, it's a circle, and the circle, the radius of the circle is square root 9, so the radius would be equal to the square root of 9, and the square root of 9 is 3. So we're going to draw a circle, which has center the origin, because the center of the circle would be the origin, so that's the center of the circle, the origin, and it's got a radius of 3, so it's going to pass through 3, 0, 0, 3, 0, negative 3, negative 3, 0, and we'll get our compass and our pencil, and we'll just draw a nice circle, so let's do that. And hopefully you got a nice circle like that whenever you drew that circle, so well done. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So we're told a circle has center 0, 0, which is the origin, that point. And we're told that it passes through the point negative 24, 7, so negative 24, 7. And we've been asked to find the equation of the circle. So feel free to press pause now to work out the equation of this circle. Okay, so if I wanted to find the equation of this circle, the first thing I'd want to do is work out the radius of the circle, because we know it's going to be in the form x squared plus y squared equals the radius squared. So we need to find the radius to be able to find its equation. So let's find the radius of the circle. Now at this point, it's negative 24, 7. So that means if we draw a little right angle triangle like so, so a little right angle triangle, it'd be a right angle triangle like so, it's going to go negative 24, so we're going 24 across, so this is going to be 24. And in terms of the rise, it's going to be going up 7, so it's negative 24, 7, so it's going to be, if we drew this triangle, it'd be 24 across and 7 up. So if we use Pythagoras' theorem, we can find the length of the hypotenuse, the longest side of this right angle triangle, which would be the radius radius of the circle. So I've just drawn a little triangle there where it's 24 across and 7 up. And we'll just do a little, um, we'll just do Pythagoras' theorem. So let's label the sides, A, B, and C. Obviously C has to be opposite the right angle. So we've got A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So A squared, that's going to be 7 squared plus 24 squared is equal to C squared. 7 squared is equal to 49. 24 squared is equal to 576. And that's equal to C squared. When we add these together, we get 625 is equal to c squared. And now we just need the square root, so we'll do the square root of 625, and that's equal to 25. So that means the radius of the circle is 25, 
And that's fantastic. Now we know the radius. The radius is equal to 25. We can find the equation. So it's x squared plus y squared equals the radius squared. So it's x squared plus y squared equals 25 squared. Now sometimes you might see it left like that, but I'm going to work out 25 squared. 25 squared is 625. So we're going to have x squared plus y squared equals 625. And that's how I'm going to give the equation of the circle. x squared plus y squared equals 625. And that's it. So in this question, we just need to use Pythagoras' theorem to find the radius of the circle. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Okay, so our next question, we're told that a circle has an equation x squared plus y squared equals 144, and we've been asked to find the circumference of the circle. So feel free to press pause now and work out the circumference of this circle. Okay, so just done a little sketch, and we were told it's got equation x squared plus y squared equals 144. So if we do the square root of 144, that's equal to 12. So that means we've got a circle with center of the origin, so the center of the circle is the origin, and we know its radius is equal to 12, so its radius would be equal to 12. And we want to find the circumference of that circle. So now we know the radius is 12, we can do circumferences, pi times diameter. So we're going to do pi times the diameter. Now the diameter of this circle would be 24, because 12 plus 12 is 24. So we're going to do pi times 24, and that would be equal to 24 pi. So the circumference of that circle is 24 pi. If you wanted to give it as a decimal number, that would be 75.3982 and so on. And that's it. So the circumference of the circle is 24 pi, or 75.3982 and so on. So in this question, what we done was we looked at the equation which was x squared plus y squared equals the radius squared. We square rooted that to find the radius, which is 12. And then we just done pi times diameter, and then that would give us 24 pi. If the question said find the area of the circle, we'd find the radius, which is 12, and then we'd do pi r squared. So it'd end up being 144 pi, and so on. So it's quite important to be able to find the circumference and area of a circle if you know its equation, and if you can find its radius, then that makes it quite straightforward. Okay, let's look at our next question. Okay, in the next question, we're told that A, B is the diameter of a circle, center C. A has got coordinates negative 6, 8, and B has coordinates 6, negative 8. And we've been asked to find the equation of the circle. So feel free to press pause and find the equation of that circle. Okay, so I've just done a little sketch here. We've got our x-axis and our y-axis. I've plotted the point A, which is negative 6, 8, and I've plotted the point B, which is 6, negative 8. And we've been asked to find the equation of the circle. Now, just to begin with, I'm just going to find the center of the circle. Now, it should be, hopefully, the origin, because with the equation of the circles, these have generally been the origin. So let's just find the center of the circle. So if we want to find the midpoint of two coordinates, we add them together and half it. So if we do negative 6 plus 6, that's equal to 0, and then half it is 0, and 8 plus negative 8 is 0 and half that is zero. So the center of the circle will be the origin, which is there, the origin. Okay, so I've now drawn the circle, and we've got A, B is the diameter of the circle, so it passes through the center of the circle there, and we've got A and B, and we've been asked to find the equation of the circle, so, we'll find, so we want to find the equation of the circle. So it's going to be, because the center is the origin, it's going to be x squared plus y squared. Now we just need the radius squared, so we just want to find the radius. Now to find the radius, we've got a few approaches we could use. We could use the two coordinates we were given in the first place, A and B, and we will work out the distance between a and B. So we can make a little red angle triangle like so. And we could say, well, going from negative 6 to 6 across, that's going to be 12. And then going from a height of 8 down to negative 8, that's going to be going down 16. And we use Pythagoras' theorem there, where we've got that's a red angle triangle. And if we use Pythagoras' theorem, we'd find the length of the diameter. And then we could just half it to find the radius of the circle. So let's just do that, actually. So we could do 12. So we'd have Pythagoras' theorem. So let's do both sides, A, B, and C. A is one of the shorter sides. B is another shorter side. And C is a hypotenuse. So A squared plus B squared squared equals c squared. a squared, that's going to be 12 squared, plus b squared, that's going to be 16 squared, that's equal to c squared. 12 squared plus 16 squared, that's 144 plus 256, which is 400 equals c squared. And if you square root that, you get c is equal to 20. So that means the diameter is equal to 20. That means the radius would be equal to 10. So that means we'd have x squared plus y squared equals 10 squared. And 10 squared is 100, so we get x squared plus y squared equal to 100. And that's the equation of the circle. So that's how we find the length of the radius, by finding the length of the diameter, and then half of it. So that was one approach in that question. I just want to show you that in this question, rather than finding the length of the diameter, we could have just found the length of the radius. So this is the radius here from A to O, or you could have done from O to B. But if this is the radius here from O to A, then we would be going across 6, we'll be going down 8, and then you could use Pythagoras' theorem to find the length of the radius being 10. And then again, you would do x squared plus y squared equals the radius squared. So it would be x squared plus y squared equals 10 squared. And then that would give us an answer of x squared plus y squared equals 100. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at one last question. So this time we've been asked to find the coordinates of the point of intersection of the line with equation y equals 2x and the circle of equation x squared plus y squared equals 50. Okay, so feel free to press pause and to find the coordinates of the point of intersection between this line and this circle. 
Okay, so we've got our circle, which is x squared plus y squared equals 50. We've got our straight line, which has equation y equals 2x. And from our sketch, we can see that they intersect twice, here at A and here at B. So we want to find the coordinates of these points of intersection. So what we're going to do is we're going to solve these equations. These are simultaneous equations that we're going to solve. We know that x squared plus y squared equals 50, and we've got that y equals 2x. So let's substitute 2x in for the value of y. So you'd have x squared, so that's x squared, plus y squared. Well, y is equal to 2x, that's going to be 2x squared, and that's equal to 50. So we've just replaced our y with our 2x. Okay, x squared, that's just x squared. 2x squared, that's 2x times 2x, which is be plus 4x squared, and that's equal to 50. And x squared plus 4x squared, we're adding them together, would be 5x squared. So we get 5x squared equals 50. Now we can divide by 5 and we get x squared equals 10. And then finally, x would then be equal to plus or minus the square root of 10. So our two possible values for x are negative root 10 and root 10. So we've got our two values for x, now we want to find our values for y. So y would be equal to 2 times x. So if x is equal to root 10, y would be equal to 2 root 10 because it's double it. And if x is equal to minus root 10, then that means that y would be equal to minus 2 root 10. And that's it, we've got our two coordinates. A would be the point with coordinates, negative root 10, comma, negative 2 root 10. And B would be the point with coordinates, root 10, comma, 2 root 10. And that's it. So we've found the coordinates of the points of intersection. And that's it. And if you got those, well done. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at the equation of a circle. And that's x squared plus y squared equals r squared, where the center of that circle is the origin, point zero, zero, and the radius of that circle is r. So we've looked at the equation of the circle. We've gone through some questions, and I hope you found it useful. Now, the 61 days to go to GCC maths exam. Keep up the hard work. And tomorrow at 3 o'clock on YouTube for 60 days to go, we'll go for the next video. So I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. Bye.